We're reacting to angry cops. Let's hop into the video. Sorry, basic training show nail and drill sergeants, veteran TV. Oh yeah, let's dive into this. By the way, I might get a little flashbacks from this. Let's go. Recruited out of a dumpster behind an abortion clinic. Get on now. What oh, now? What the f is your first stone? Crystal meth? All of a sudden, damn. look how motivated everybody is. Drill Sergeant Cox, motivate him. Cox. Oh! Basic training. Oh! One of the most, if not the most iconic moment in a young military member's life. I, not even young, from ages of 17 when he first joined all the way to 80 something years old from world war ii veterans telling stories around the campfire the days their drill sergeants used to beat the living crap out of them and yes and it will be the best time of your army career so please enjoy your base and trading that's all i gotta say <laughs> and enjoy. some of the hysterical things that they used to say now hollywood seems to have an issue with trying to portray basic training land in the way that right, it right. actually is Right. A forbidden hellscape with tomfoolery and shenanigans that make you sweat and cry and want to give up, but also build you up stronger all at the same time sometimes. The big right. one's obviously being Full Metal Jacket. Yes. Yes. Full Metal Jacket, yes. I would say too. The enemy cannot push a button if you disable his hand. Honestly, facts, I cannot facts, do facts, that facts. Sergeant in that scene. But let's forget about Hollywood for he ain't lying. And let's talk about He's not lying, though. actually lived that life trying to portray their experiences on the big screen. My friends at Vet TV have a new series out that focuses on the drill sergeants and drill instructors. Okay, drill, okay. The funniest place you can't laugh. Oh, y'all could have re recruit AC? It would have been perfect for this. Oh, man. And the shared experiences that we all seem to have from basic training. Oh, man. AC now, would have been perfect for it. Somebody's going to let you know whether or not a basic training video, series, movie, right. et cetera, is any good and touches on the real thing. It would be yours truly. But of course. Flap, angry angry cops. Angry oh, drills are. Dumpster behind an abortion clinic. I've oh, damn. Hookers with more balls than you. What's hey, yo. Your first stone, crystal meth? The first thing that caught my attention in the show. Wow. How they use the drill sergeant's ability to berate people. Once again, I know everybody's very familiar with Arlie Ermey's depiction of a drill instructor in Full Metal Jacket. Yep. Oh, it looks to me like the best part of you ran down to cracking your mama's ass and ended up as a brown stain on the mattress. <laughs> yes. Why that scene in Full Metal oh, Jacket is God. so iconic is because of Arlie Ermey's ability to just quickly rattle off insults faster than you can think. Now, exactly. Now, may not be sitting here with a sketch pad trying to think of interesting and funny things to say and writing them down for later so that they can go up and down the line berating each and every individual. No, we don't have it, that amount of time. It's on the fly. Like, you'd be so impressed. Like, oh, my God, my drill sergeant, uh, Evans, I don't know if he's still in, but, dude, he cooked. Big old country white dude cooking us. Ah, man. And honestly, I don't give cooking about giving each and every one of you your own special individual nickname for something that you f***ed up. Right. I'll do something stupid later on. You'll get I'll something. I'll call you whatever name that is. Yep. I'll call you landmine if you fell, if you dropped on a landmine. Or call you Rambo if you put on your face camouflage all jacked up and you look like some sort of weird <laughs> thing that came from the Black Lagoon. Oh, nah. But quickly and randomly coming up with colorful language to talk to your trainees is definitely something that I have been a part of. It's an art. Even just as it's recently as this past summer, I had a troop whose last name is Quintard. And yes, Quintard, <laughs> you've left a mark in my life forever. Just as in the same way that I used to make your name ring throughout the barracks. Get over here, Quintard. I think my favorite line from the show is the birthstone being crystal meth. What exactly that birthstone? part crystal meth? this could possibly be my most favorite episode of this longer series that that's a fucking bar though low-key drill sergeants get a little sneaky don't they oh they think of a way to sneak inside and infiltrate the privates which is something i have absolutely done now i've never seen anybody go quite as far as the drill sergeants in this sketch to shave one of their bad oh, buddies heads so then they can fall in and disguise themselves to live amongst the privates. But for oh, those of nah. us who are challenged as drill sergeants, it's a little bit easier. And you don't need much to do it. In PT uniforms, the only thing that makes a bald drill sergeant look different than a private is the fact that, one, we're usually a little bit older and more developed as a man. Right, right. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, calm down, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> two, you've got a large reflective vest on that says, Drill Sergeant, drill sergeant. do not touch danger stay right. arms distance away at all times let me tell you about one time 
when okay. I blended in with the privates. Because it's real. We do this. Now, I've hidden in wall lockers and in latrines and under beds. Everywhere! Trying to, like, <laughs> scare them. But that's as a drill sergeant. Like, I got the hat. I'm in uniform. They know who I am. One day during PT. Oh, no. Nah. all done with it. They're about ready to go upstairs, quickly shower, and get ready for chow. I don't know if they actually showered in the morning, but they're... Right, whoa, whoa, so they okay. And before they get released from the PT pit area, I take off my vest and I hold it in front of my chest so that from behind, you just see a bald dude in a PT top. And right, Marks right. Just walking around with the rest of them. Now, if they were intelligent privates, they'd have looked at my shoes and said... Those are yeah. the basic training issued shoes that I've been yep. doing before. Yep, 100%. Yep, you're girls, an imposter among us. And stupid. And so, yes, falling in with a group of privates just randomly is something that's extremely believable. But I digress. I'm walking in the PT area, outside the PT area, about to go into the barracks. And I'm fake jogging, and they all start right. running around me. And then, of course, once they all start running around me, one of them touches me. Oh, oh, you're evil. AC, you're evil. No. And because they're not paying attention that I am a drill sergeant, oh, I yeah. freak out. And I yeah. give them the proper warning of privates, do not touch me. And I flail yes. around yes. like this yes. because they're supposed to keep one arm's length distance away from me. Exactly. Because it is for their safety that they stay that far away from me. Yeah. One arm's distance. That is for your safety, not mine. I have PTSD. Don't sneak up behind me, private. <laughs> Sound like a school issue. Damn. Check it out, weirdos. You're gonna go over to the end of the bay. Right. Nose against the wall, and you're not gonna move until I come get you. Tracking? Yes. No. Me. Yes. Yes. The yes. No. Fuck me. Is a hundred percent true. It's like you don't give an answer in a second. Is yes, Joe Sarin, no Joe Sarin, fuck you, Joe Sarin. Which one is it? And they will assume it's fuck you, Joe Sarin. Then you start pushing. Oh my god. Hey, yo. Sorry I bumped into you, ma'am. Next time you have to pay for it. Hey, yo. You didn't see anything here tonight. Understand? Hey, yes. Drill. Whoa, yes, whoa, whoa, whoa. See? Wait a whoa, 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 whoa. Drill. Wh wh what do you mean by that? Wh why is she in a bear? Hey, Drill. I, I mean, hey, if you're single, it is what it is. Drill sergeants bring in ladies or gentlemen for their pleasure but i've heard a story or two but that's not what i want to talk about yeah There's let's not talk about that moment in this sketch of the debaucherous going down in the barracks that is such a perfect representation of the small moments in basic training yes and that's just how yep, we tell that people part. to shut up there are many times where drill sergeants on the trail just don't want to deal with your trainee okay and my, honestly, my favorite word is weirdo. Shut up, weirdo. Don't talk to me, weirdo. Look, look, weirdo. I mean, privates run back and forth or do push-ups every time that they come up to talk to me because I'm just too tired of dealing with their sh**. And even Facts. them screaming, hey, to the top of their lungs. They'll be like, no, 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 now's not the time. I need to put out information. Shut up, just shut up. Yep. Everybody shut up. Shut, shut up, weirdo. Up. And what yep. really made me happy is the end scene where the privates are doing exactly what Drill Sergeant told them hours later just face up against the wall think we can leave now if i know i have definitely yep, exactly about privates intentionally <laughs> and unintentionally honestly you supposed to stay there regardless i remember one time we got left in a post up position just because they forgot and then they came back they were like oh shit my bad privates on your feet <laughs> um, i'll give you a quick story Down sure why not it was my last day i was going back home so I had all the troops, the trainees in the barracks, had them line up. I gave them a little speech. Listen, don't move. Toe the line. Everybody stay on line. Right, toe the line. I'll be back in a little bit. None of you move. I'm going to put out something later on. Stay right here. So they're there at parade rest. Yep, in the barracks, waiting. Just waiting for me to give them their final instruction. It's like, I don't know, 1800, 6 p.m. Oh, no, and, uh, AC. I leave and never came back. So what oh. ended up happening is... And I didn't find this out until later on, like literally years later. I met up with one of the other drill sergeants again. You know, our paths cross. Right. And they go, hey, you remember that one time when you left us and uh, you left the private standing at parade rest, like in the bay? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I always wondered, like, you know, when they got done with that. 
and the drill sergeant was like, hours, hours later. <laughs> hours, <laughs> hours later, they were still standing there like, where's drill sergeant Hyde? Why is he telling him to do anything? And this drill sergeant came up from CQ duty to check on all the barracks, on all the bays, and when they got to my bay, she sees everybody standing there at parade rest, towing the line by their bunks, just waiting. Pops <laughs> their head in and goes, what are you privates doing in here? And they're like, Waiting for Drill Sergeant High to do his next block of instruction. Drill Sergeant, that's so funny. Oh my God, I don't know why it's so funny. Drill Sergeant responded with trainees, he's gone. He left. He's not coming back. How long have you been standing here? (laughs) It was for a while. Damn. Discipline. That's what I taught you. Discipline. Discipline. Facts, facts. I can't tell you out of strange things privates have done. I can't tell you the strange things privates have done to injure themselves. Because they're just so freaking spastic. Why did you two come in here to bother me anyway? Huh? Yep. What's so doggone important? You run out of toilet paper again? There's no monsters under your bunks. I already checked. What is so important? Yep. Drill storage. Private Howard drank bleach from an accident. Kevin Howe has been huh? vomiting in the bay for the past 10 minutes. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, wait, everyone. wait. <laughs> it's face though. It's face though. Like, oh, yeah. Wait, wait. It's like, you don't want to deal with a paperwork type shit. You definitely don't want to deal with a paperwork type shit. He's like, fuck. And yes, every once in a while, you start yelling at somebody. And you're like, I'm tired of you. What's wrong with you? And then when they get a second to talk, you know, what is the private? What do you want? Girls are in private stuffy, uh, fell off the top bunk, cracked his head open, he's bleeding all over the place, and we don't have any aid to give him. Oh, Whoa, shit! Private, why, you, why you didn't say that? You gotta go fix private <laughs> yeah. Now, I can't remember an injury, but I can remember a strange thing that a private did. So oh, nah, was, wait a minute. Just, I'll break it down with you, right? There's a first floor area where you have formations. The second floor is actually right. an enclosed space. That's one of the barracks. Right. And then the third floor is another barracks, right? It's right, like right. Four barracks rooms. There you go. Well, I had trailer parks. If um, they know a building new barracks in Fort Jackson, we would just had we had trailers. We was in the trailers with yeah. <laughs> Long empty rectangle with beds in it, and at either end of it are the latrines, the bathrooms, and the laundry stations. Right, and there right. There was one private in a previous class before I got there. Right. I found out that if you go on the third story, the tall, the the barracks on the third floor, which above that is just the roof, and you go right. into the laundry room and you climb up the wall, that you there's the attic space, which is just you know the roof. There's not really a lot of space, but it connects the entire one barracks to over the drill sergeant offices. Big problem. And over uh, the yeah. next bay. And what this private would do is he would put on his freaking face paint. His face camo. <laughs> the wall, get into the roof. Go to the other bay on the other side of the building and start <laughs> with privates and making sure the posts were there and taking their shit and moving it around and making them fight one another and nobody knew. <laughs> That's that dude was bored. Listen, if you've never been to basic training, you you will get bored and you'll come up with creative ways. One of my stories is we froze a wasp and tie it with ten. Uh, TA-50 cord, whatever you want to call it. And we had a pet wasp in our barracks, okay? I remember one time we took tape and we made a baseball. We played nutball. If you know, you know. I'm just all I got to say. We had a ninja. Story pirate. time over. I'm not even mad. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I'm impressed too, yeah. I bet you 20 bucks we get two unwaverables. Over. Definitely over. You know damn well these recruiters are damn. always sending us these goddamn window lickers trying to make their goddamn mission. There's one facts, thing facts, facts, hate yeah. more than trainees. Well, it's on the same level, but sometimes it's more peaks and valleys. They constantly fight one another in the ebb and flow of what we hate more. Trainees or the recruiters that brought those trainees there. Now, we, Pretty can, much. we understand that recruiters have a job to do. They've got to pick sometimes not the cream of the crop. To come Facts. In. And hey, we've got minimum standards because sometimes people just barely meet the minimum. So right. we reach the bottom of the barrel. But let me tell you, a bad <laughs> recruiter is the bane of a drill sergeant's life. What's the point of getting the fat kid in and lying on his tape if he's going to have a heart attack and nearly kill himself in basic training? Because Damn. all the kid's done is mainline Funyuns and sit down and play Call of Duty every single day, never ever moving the joints in his body. Pretty much. Or, true story. 
have some crazy kid that emigrated from another country who hates women, disrespects them, and in order to get out of basic training, decides that he's just gonna walk around naked and flash his dong to female hey, drill sergeants. Oh my god. What? I'm sorry. Bro, he was trying to he was trying to get some action. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I let I mean, hey, I mean, if you hate women, listen, bro, you that's like a, something messed up in his brain, but he probably watched too much corn, and he thought, you know, if I just walk around with my dick out, he might get lucky. This was the baby's room. I'm really sorry. Until he's rustled to the ground, nude by the MPs. Yeah. If I'm lying, I'm dying. It's me, Tony Lasagna. <laughs> from the neighborhood. So, yes, there are moments where I look and say, if I can find the recruiter, the recruiter of yep. this unique turd, that is making my life more difficult, I would gladly nut punch them. Are you starting first class screaming? Yes. Oh! oh. And oh. my favorite part, because it's just so true. Okay. Out of this entire series, which by the way, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I really enjoyed. You should check it out. I've got a link below. I definitely would check it out. App. And their videos, and they've got a whole catalog of content for you weird veterans that you need to check out. We've always hey. it's tradition, first sergeant. Regardless, cancel culture is real, and dicks are out. <laughs> Pussy uh. mouth, <laughs> combo, chicken vagina, vegan. Ah, uh, vegan? Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. But my favorite part <laughs> is the no-no words. Can't call him a dick bag. Dicks are out. <laughs> Can't call him a pussy. Same category, gentlemen. You can't swear at him. You, yep. you can't intentionally swear at him. You can't just like dump an entire vitriolic paragraph of F bombs and C words. You can be creative, and that's what these drill sergeants have to do. You yeah, we gotta be creative. Interesting words. Now, I love saying dude and weirdo. If I say guy or dude, that means you. F that means yep. you have made it to a level of which. I am now going to seek retribution for your stupidity. And you will pay for that in sweat. If I say dude or guy, you're done. We were just like, what do you do, weirdo? Just like, what? Well, that's my general term. Can't say retard, even if they're acting retarded. Yep. I'm kind of retarded. Or quintarded. <laughs> quintarded. One of yep. the words, phrases, names that drill sergeants are not supposed to be calling. They, they hit it really hard like half a dozen years ago was calling the trainees privates hey drill sergeant you he is a private though unless they come in with a specialist rank unless they're private first class i got called private <laughs> i got called private i got call hey hey guy <laughs> hey guy if you're an a guy you're a fuck <laughs> can't call the privates privates why sir that's their rank well drill sergeant some of them are specialists so if you're calling them private then it must be their rank oh mike at least my drill sergeants call them call them by the current rank if you was E1, you're fucking private. E2 to 3, you're fucking private. They didn't even call me private for class. They still call me private. And we had like one special and one NCO. I think he transferred the NCO that was with us. He went from blue to go to uh blue to uh green, I think it's called. And he came in as an E5 in the army. But if they're a specialist, you can't call them private. Who fing cares? Who fing cares? So then they started giving drill sergeants like secondary words right hey use this word instead of like use trainees i use trainees all the time but they right. wanted us to call them warriors for a while oh yeah that God, was cringe I hated warriors hey warrior and we did we had to use warrior but we made it sound like hey warrior <laughs> hey like really just the way that you said warrior and its placement in like the yelling scene that you were at and like that specific moment of time, it could mean a multitude of insults. But anyway, even though these new rules of what we can call them and what we can't, whether it's warrior or soldier or troop or trainee or private or whatever. Hey, where you going, hero? Even if you hero, know, yep, space hero, yep. Can work in, we will expand it in our own minds. And my favorite insult has got to be vegan. Oh, chef's vegan. Kiss. So good. Now, like I said earlier, there's a lot of episodes of this basic training drill sergeant, drill instructor. I have to now. go check it there's out. Marine Corps this is fun. Instructors in there too. I just touched on the army ones because you know that's my purview. But if that interests you, then go ahead and check out that TV. I've also been in a series that they did uh, called Checkpoint Charlie. Lawrence, my baby. Based on MPs, so that was that was a good time there too. Best way to support the channel is get yourself a shirt. We've only got a couple hoodies left. And also, if you're a Navy guy, a lighthouse for pussy. And the PVC patches, those are, we've only got like 
60 or 80 left, I think, of all of them out of the 300. Damn, so that's crazy. They sold pretty quickly last week. Cheapest way to support the channel is leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about this. Is there a funny basic trading story that you think I have you too many. With the little moments that I brought in from this new Vet TV series? Drill. The funniest place you can't laugh. <laughs> Do you like yep. movie movie reviews? Maybe you could put a movie down in the description that you want me to break down. And yes, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, that's lame. Or oh, that's cool. Or whatever. All right. See you next time, weirdos. See you next time, weirdos. By the way, for everybody that's uh, already viewing on Pepperbox, I added a special little story about a private in my most recent basic oh. training class. Private Carpenter. <laughs> oh, damn. Why you had it called him by, by... Hey, man. Damn, Drill. He might have fucked up if you called him by name. Hey, if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out his YouTube channel down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.